Hi guys, Shane Great Plains Bows here. Today we wanted to talk about the difference between the Swift Long Curve and the original Long Curve. There's been some confusion about that and this is the original Long Curve. It's 60 inches long and this bow was probably designed 15-20 years ago at Great Plains. It's a very smooth bow. When it's strung it has the profile somewhat of a horse bow. I'll string it up for you. So there you can see it's strung. It's got real pleasing lines. It's a great bow to hang up on your wall. And we wanted to design a shorter, faster bow than the original long curve. Although this one is very smooth, very smooth shooter. It's, uh, we wanted to design kind of a high performance long curve. So we came out with the Swift long curve. It's shorter, it's 58 inches. It's got more of an aggressive limb profile to it. I'll string it up for you. You can see it's got more stored energy in it. It, it looks more like a, uh, a hybrid recurve, more of a 50 style recurve. This bow is quite a bit faster than the original long curve. And it's smooth and quiet also. And it has the swift limb on it. A Little bit different riser grind. You've got some uh, neat details carved into the bottom limb down there. The difference, I'll show them up side by side, but you can see the difference in the limb. The Swift Long Curve has a little more stored energy in it, so it's got more kinetic energy on release. The original Long Curve has more graceful lines, kind of looks more like a horse bow. The original Long Curve and the Swift Long Curve, they're both cut to center on the shelf. The difference is mainly is that the Swift Long Curve is a little bit, it's probably 10 feet per second faster. It's a big enough difference you can tell it. Both of them are smooth, both of them are quiet. It's just that the Swift Long Curve is a little more high performance. And that's the difference between the original Long Curve and the Swift Long Curve. 